Hey, welcome to my week after the show. Um, I think the, the I know, Stephen goes, we don't even know what we're doing. Well, guess what? This is a surprise. Um, so, so it always happens on the old web segment. Uh, but I think the one thing that I'm very interested to see tomorrow night is actually the interview with Bruce Jenner, um, with Diane Sawyer. And I think it's going to be one of the most highly rated interviews well, that's sad. in years. Isn't it? Why is that sad? Well, I mean, what, whatever is going on with him, and I don't know what it is or what it is not, is... I think a pretty private issue. Whatever Should he's be. doing is is about him and and his identity and all these things. And to go on television, I think, and talk about that cheapens it in a in a really really spectacular way. Uh, I, I I would expect uh, that that he would have said no. You know what? Let me let me work this out. Let me figure out what's going on with me well, and sure. figure it out with my family and. Uh, you know, maybe someday down the road I'll talk about what that was all about. But, I mean, this smacks of one of the most bizarre uh, publicity stunts in history. And you have folks from the, um, you know, the transgender uh, people who are appalled by this think because, you know, they feel they've been making some inroads, some progress in terms of attitudes and acceptance. And now you have this guy out here making it into a sideshow. And I think they're legitimately concerned about how this is going to go and this constant attention on on his transformation oh gosh his boobs a little bigger this week his hair's a little longer i don't s see how that's helping their cause and neither do they do do they i mean in terms of him presenting himself and being presented you know as some sort of freak show but if he's not presenting himself as a freak show if he's presenting himself and telling his story and controlling how he tells his story so it's not some weird photographer from us weekly hiding in his bushes and taking a picture i mean bruce jenner is known generation generationally so my parents know him from being a 1976 olympic athlete and my little sister knows who he is from you know watching keeping up with the kardashians so you've got someone <laughs> who translates i i mean through the generations and maybe he's trying to take back his own story and that's not been it so far and I mean. showing people that this is his transgender journey and maybe helping people who are of a different generation who haven't had much exposure um, people to, go through to personal, what people go through people go through personal transformations all the time people's lives change all the time and I think that the the instinct to, to put that on display is is always bizarre to me. I don't understand it. I mean, I think yeah. uh, there there is there is something to the dignity of privacy, and and uh, I mean, I I think that probably does look different if you have been a celebrity your whole life. Uh, but but I would think something this significant that was happening. Well, then you could say that about reality television, about well, sure. anything, I think about it's hard anything. Crazy. It's hard to think TV. that this family that has been so publicity addicted and has been oh, so right. and has been so um, eager to shock <clears throat> throughout their whole thing it's hard to think that they might be presenting this in the sort of serious sensitive way that you talked about i disagree that he's being stalked by photographers i think you know it's he's courted the photographers yeah, and what have you and it's hard to believe that, that the Kardashian-Jenner family is capable of presenting this in sort of the sensitive way that it perhaps... So if he right. were not attached to, to the Kardashian family, if it was just Bruce Jenner, it would be a different story for you? Probably be a different story presented, you know, because, again, the history of this family is what can we do next to keep our names in the headline and keep people talking about us and, 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 well, and become ironically. interested in it? And, you know, I'm not sure that this is uh, going to work out. he's the one member of the family who actually has some accomplishment to his name. I'm yeah. still at a loss as to, like, how these people became famous. What, what are they famous for other than being famous? Uh, what, did they ever, what did they ever do? Um, I, I, it, is, it is a creature of, of uh, that reality sort of television dynamic that we've had for a while that, that, that I think goes even beyond uh, uh, the sort of standard voyeurism. I mean, it, it, it's voyeurism of nothing. Uh, what are we watching? If you watch that show, what are you watching? And who are the people on it? And why are they, why are they even interesting or famous? I, and I think, that, again, that, that does not just go with the Kardashians. You could do that. Sure. You could go all the way from the, the Housewives of Beverly Hills That's to weird too, shows right? on Discovery called, like, Naked and Afraid. I mean, but they've I, it's, perfected it's the model and figured out how to sustain it because there's always something. 
you know, there's always another uh, pro athlete husband. There's always another, you know, naked butt picture. There's always another, <laughs> there's always another something that gets them a headline. And I'm just a little, little suspicious, a little skeptical that this isn't the next thing. The next All right, let me, let me ask in, you this. The headlines keep the money rolling in. So do you <laughs> believe, though, that this Bruce Jenner interview will be one of the highest rated? Do you oh, believe the tune-in factor for this? I don't this? doubt that. The roof, people will watch. Yeah. People will watch. But the question is, why does he want people watching? Why does he want that attention for something that, that you know, if, is, if it's genuine, if what is going on with him is some sort of transformation from one gender to the next is probably the most significant personal thing to happen to him. I'm not sure why you want that on display. Uh, it, it, it would be, I think the only analogy would be uh, someone allowing cameras, you know, into the delivery room at the, at the most intimate moments and saying, well, hey, take a look at this. I mean, uh, there are some things that, that are about you and your family and they are not about celebrity or the public. Yeah, unfortunately, I think with the way reality TV is going and with the way um, people <laughs> what get, I just suggested people be a show. consume information, <laughs> that um, this is not... The delivery room show is coming. This right? delivery room show is coming. All right, well, that's uh, my week after the show. We'll see you guys next week.